with me here? Can you tell what's happened to them? What's happening? Yes. She bumped her head. She had a mighty fall. She's not feeling very well at all. Uh, and my dear slot, he broke his arm. So he's got it in a sling. And he bumped his head as well. Have you ever had any of these troubles? She broke her arm. She's been in a lot of pain. She wonders how long will it take to heal? What about you? Have you ever been unwell, sick for a long time? My little bear here. Both his legs, they're broken. He's got cancer as well. There might be no cure for him. What will he do? What will his parents do? Hmm. Can you see on my table here? Have you ever been to the doctor? Do you like going to the doctors? How often do you go to the doctors? Taking medication for pain? Allergies? Having them every year? Or maybe you have to take vitamins every day. Maybe some ones that don't taste so nice. Yuck. Hmm? Well, today we're going far away. There's this lady who was sick for 12 long years. 12 years. That's more than how old many of you are. Can you imagine all your life being sick? You'd have gone to the doctors. And sometimes, you know, this lady, she would go to the doctors. They didn't know what was wrong with her because she'd been going for years and they couldn't find a cure, but they kept telling her that they could cure her. And they just took her money. And she kept going, taking all these medicines pain she was in a lot of pain discomfort and you know what many of her friends didn't want to be near her she was so sick that eventually she got very very pale her skin got pale and as the years went by she got weaker and weaker and weaker but this lady she did not give up she kept going to the doctors anybody she heard about who could cure her she went she would take any remedies that people told her about she would take it because she wanted to get well even though the doctors her friends even those who didn't like her who those weren't her friends even them said lady there's no cure for you. Just lie down and die. But she did not want to. She wanted to live. And so she kept searching. And she spent all the money she got over the years. Everything went into trying to find a cure for her illness. Now, boys and girls, one day she heard the news that there was a man who was healing people of all sorts of diseases and this woman because she was so persistent she was not going to give up she thought i must find this jesus I don't care, but I must find this Jesus. Here's another ray of hope. And as the days went by, she listened out to try and, and find, hear from someone, where is this Jesus now? Because this Jesus was moving from different towns, towns to towns, curing people here, curing people there. 
But as I said, boys and girls, she was pale and weak, so she couldn't really travel far. But she was determined to, if she needed to. And so she prepared herself to find this Jesus. And one day she heard that Jesus wasn't far away from where she was. And so she gathered herself. By this time, you know, she was just wearing dark colors because she was just thought about as being unclean. So nobody wanted to be near her. So she disguised herself, you know, covered up pale. And she started out. And as she started out, she could see the crowds heading in one direction. And she asked, what's happening? What's happening? And they said, Jesus, he's just down there. And so she continued on where the crowd was going. She pressed in, but she just could not get anywhere near Jesus. And Jesus, boys and girls, she didn't know this, but someone had come to, to speak to Jesus and tell him that he needed to go and see this little girl who was also sick. She was 12 years old. And so Jesus had to change direction now. And he was going to this man's house to heal his daughter. And so Jesus was heading almost in her direction, but he was still a ways off. And the crowds just pressed in on him because they wanted to be near him. And she realized that, oh my gosh, I will not get to him. But she said, you know, if I could only get close enough to touch his clothes, even the very hem of his garment, then maybe I'm sure I could find some healing. And boys and girls, that was the one focus she had in mind. I must get to Jesus. I must touch his garment. And she pressed through and she pressed through and boys and girls, she managed to just touch as she, you know, she's almost there. Somebody pushed her and she kept going and she managed to touch just the hem of his garment. And immediately, immediately she was healed. She felt vigor and life in her body. She was healed boys and girls. And she said, thank you, Jesus. And she started creeping away because she was healed. And then suddenly she heard this voice. Who touched me? Who touched me? And she was like, you're gonna be talking about me because there's so many people around. I'm sure she didn't know that I touched him. And she kept moving away. And the voice kept coming above the crowds. There was a stillness now. Who touched me? There was no anger in the voice. There was kindness in the voice. And she decided to, to own up. And she said, I touched you. And the Lord went to her and he said, woman, your faith has made you well. It's because of your persistence and your belief that you could be healed, which is why virtue, power went out of me into you. Boys and girls, learn from this story that no matter what situation you're in, no matter how long you have been in a certain situation, keep pressing on. Keep trying to find the answer, to find a cure. You're struggling at school with a certain subject, Keep trying. Do not give up. Be persistent. Persevere no matter what. Right now, we're going to sing our song, Forever Love, Forever God. 